Hello. Welcome to Today in History, an AI podcast. I'm Steven. And I'm Ruth. We're the artificial intelligence hosts of this show. Every day, we'll tell you about the most interesting, consequential and sometimes forgotten facts in history that happened on this date. Politics, economy, war, religion, culture. One topic every day. Plus something that you would have heard on the news back then on this date. Also, about a holiday somewhere in the world, someone who was born and someone who died. Hope you stay with us. Please enjoy a few minutes to maybe get a little smarter and appreciate the enormity of every single day. Today is Saturday, March 16, 2024. The year is 2001. Our main topic, a series of bomb blasts in the city of Shijiazhuang, China, killed 108 people. On March 16, 2001, the city of Shijiazhuang, located in the Hebei province of North China, was struck by a series of devastating bomb blasts. The explosions occurred near four apartment buildings, killing 108 people and injuring 38 others. The incident, which came to be known as the Shijiazhuang bombings or Jin Rushao bombings, was a tragic event that left a lasting impact on the community. The bombings were perpetrated by Jin Rushao, a man who had a personal vendetta against his ex-wife, ex-mother-in-law, and a lover. He had previously threatened to blow up their buildings, and his actions were motivated by hatred and a desire for revenge. The bombings were a senseless act of violence that took the lives of many innocent people and left countless others with physical and emotional scars. The Shijiazhuang bombings were a significant event in modern Chinese history, as they highlighted the need for increased security measures and raised concerns about the potential for domestic terrorism. The incident also brought attention to the importance of addressing social issues, such as mental health and relationship problems, which can contribute to violent behavior. In the aftermath of the bombings, the Chinese government launched an investigation and implemented measures to prevent similar incidents in the future. The community came together to support the victims and their families, and the incident served as a reminder of the importance of unity and resilience in the face of tragedy. Overall, the Shijiazhuang bombings were a tragic event that had a profound impact on the people of China and beyond. They serve as a reminder of the need for vigilance and the importance of addressing the root causes of violence and terrorism. The year is 1936. On the news, warmer-than-normal temperatures rapidly melt snow and ice on the upper Allegheny and Monongahela rivers, leading to a major flood in Pittsburgh. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we're taking a look back at a significant event in American history that occurred 87 years ago. It's a story of how rapidly changing weather conditions can have devastating effects on communities. On March 17 and 18, 1936, the city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, witnessed the worst flood in its history. The flood became known as the Great St. Patrick's Day Flood, and it affected other areas of the Mid-Atlantic on both sides of the Eastern Continental Divide. The flood was caused by warmer-than-normal temperatures that rapidly melted snow and ice on the upper Allegheny and Monongahela rivers. Now, let's put this event into context. The Monongahela River, also known as the Moan, is a 130-mile-long river that flows through north-central West Virginia and southwestern Pennsylvania. The Allegheny River, on the other hand, is a 325-mile-long headwater stream of the Ohio River that runs through western Pennsylvania and New York. Both rivers play a significant role in the region's economy and were crucial for transportation and commerce. The flood of 1936 was a devastating event that affected thousands of people in the region. The floodwaters rose to record levels, peaking at 46 feet in Pittsburgh. The damage was catastrophic, with homes, businesses, and infrastructure destroyed or severely damaged. The cleanup efforts took months, and the recovery process was slow and challenging. The Great St. Patrick's Day flood of 1936 is a reminder of the power of nature and the importance of being prepared for extreme weather events. It's a lesson that still holds true today, as we continue to face the challenges of a changing climate. In conclusion, the flood of 1936 was a significant event in American history that had a profound impact on the people of Pittsburgh and the surrounding areas. It's a reminder of the importance of being prepared for the unexpected and the need to take steps to mitigate the effects of extreme weather events. Thank you for joining us tonight. We now return you to our regular programming. 
Our selected holiday for today, Remembrance Day of the Latvian Legionnaires, Latvia. Remembrance Day of the Latvian Legionnaires, also known as Legionnaire Day or March 16th in Latvia, is a day to honor the soldiers of the Latvian Legion, a part of the Waffen SS during World War II. This day is significant for the people of Latvia as it recognizes the sacrifices made by the soldiers who fought for their country's freedom and independence. The Latvian Legion was formed in 1943, and it consisted of volunteers and conscripts from Latvia, who fought against the Soviet Union. The Legion played a crucial role in the battles of the Eastern Front and was known for its bravery and loyalty. The Remembrance Day of the Latvian Legionnaires was first celebrated in 1998 and was officially recognized by the Seima, the Parliament of Latvia, until 2000. Since then, it has been observed annually on March 16, with ceremonies and events taking place across the country. This holiday holds great cultural significance for the people of Latvia, as it is a day to remember the sacrifices made by their ancestors and to honor their bravery and loyalty. It is also a day to reflect on the country's history and its struggle for independence. However, it is important to note that the Latvian Legion's association with the Waffen SS has been a topic of controversy, with some viewing it as a symbol of Nazi collaboration. Yet, for many Latvians, the Legion represents their fight for freedom and independence, rather than Nazi ideology. Overall, Remembrance Day of the Latvian Legionnaires is a significant holiday in Latvia, as it serves as a reminder of the country's history and the sacrifices made by its people. It is a day to honor the bravery and loyalty of the soldiers who fought for their country's freedom and independence. On this day, in 1975, Luciano Castro, Argentine actor, was born. Luciano Castro is a talented Argentine actor who has made a significant impact in the entertainment industry. Born in Buenos Aires, Argentina, Castro began his acting career in the early 2000s and quickly rose to fame with his breakout role in the popular telenovela, Valientes. His portrayal of the lead character, Thomas, captured the hearts of audiences across Latin America and launched his career as a leading man. Castro's success in Valientes was followed by starring roles in other hit telenovelas, such as Herederos de Una Venganza and Sos Mi Hombre. His versatility and range as an actor were showcased in these productions, as he brought complex characters to life with depth and nuance. His ability to connect with audiences and bring authenticity to his roles has made him a fan favorite and earned him critical acclaim. In addition to his work in television, Castro has also appeared in films, including the comedy drama, El Club de los Incomprendidos. His performance in this movie further solidified his reputation as a talented actor who can excel in a variety of genres. Castro's professional achievements are not limited to his acting career. He has also been recognized for his philanthropic work, particularly in the area of children's rights. He has been involved in several charitable organizations and has used his platform to raise awareness about important social issues. In his personal life, Castro is known to be private and humble, preferring to keep a low profile. Despite his fame, he has managed to maintain a sense of normalcy and keeps his focus on his work and family. Throughout his career, Luciano Castro has proven himself to be a dedicated and talented actor who has made a lasting impact in the entertainment industry. His commitment to his craft and his passion for philanthropy make him a role model for aspiring actors and a respected figure in the entertainment industry. We remember the life of Yadier Pedrazu, Cuban pitcher, born 1986, who died on this date in 2013. Yadier Pedrazu, a name that resonates deeply in the world of baseball, left an indelible mark on the sport he loved. Born in Guanahai, Havana Province, Cuba, in 1986, Pedrazu was destined for greatness from a young age. His passion for baseball was evident, and he dedicated his life to honing his skills and perfecting his craft. Pedrazu's talent was undeniable, and he quickly rose through the ranks, becoming a right-handed pitcher for the Cuban national baseball team in La Habana of the Cuban National Series. He was a force to be reckoned with on the mound, known for his precision and control. His ability to command the strike zone and outsmart batters was unparalleled, earning him the respect of his peers and the admiration of fans. Pedrazu's impressive career was punctuated by numerous highlights, including his participation in the 2006 and 2013 World Baseball Classics. He was a key player in the Cuban team's success, helping them secure crucial victories and cementing his place in the annals of Cuban baseball history. But Pedrazu's impact extended far beyond the baseball diamond. 
He was a devoted husband and father, and his love for his family was evident in everything he did. He was a kind and generous soul, always willing to lend a helping hand to those in need. His warm smile and infectious laughter lit up the room, making him a joy to be around. Sadly, Pedrazu's life was cut short, leaving behind a legacy that will be remembered for generations to come. His untimely passing was a shock to the baseball community, but his memory lives on through the countless lives he touched and the indelible mark he left on the sport he loved. In conclusion, Yadier Pedrazu was a remarkable individual, both on and off the field. His passion, dedication, and talent inspired countless others, and his legacy will continue to live on in the hearts of those who knew him best. His contributions to the world of baseball will never be forgotten, and his memory will continue to be celebrated for years to come. Rest in peace, Yadier Pedrazu. Your legacy will live on forever. This was Today in History, an AI podcast. Brought to you by Decor Studios. All content was sourced from Wikipedia and processed with open source large language models. This podcast is released under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International License. Thank you so much for listening. Talk to you tomorrow.